I'm gonna talk about some tools for your DIYer, beginner, intermediate, small engine, weekend warrior, technician that wants to work on some lawnmowers, do some troubleshooting, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna discuss some tools that will help you out in the process and we're gonna get into this. I hope you had an awesome week. I hope you have even a better weekend. This is the channel where we all can learn and grow together. Today I'm gonna talk about some tools that I think can help in building up some tools for small engine repair. Now I'm not gonna get into like the sockets and the screwdrivers and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna get into is other tools that I think is very important in the area of small engine repair and DIY, fixing your own equipment, whatever you wanna do. First tool I'm gonna to talk about is a spark plug or spark ignition tester for testing spark. This part goes into your spark plug wire and this here goes to your spark plug. This here has a light in it when you have ignition, the light or spark, the light will come on. When you don't, the light will not come on. But this is a very good tool to have. You can get at your basic auto parts stores, maybe even Harbor Freight, Amazon, any of these. But if you're looking to start or where to start as far as getting small engine tools, this is definitely a must have to have in your toolbox. The very next tool that I would recommend is some kind of compression gauges to test to see if your compression or you're building enough pressure inside your um, engine to allow your motor to run effectively. Now, one tool that I would also recommend to add to this that I need to kind of look in to add into my tools is also a leak down tester that could go along this same line because these could test to see if you're building up enough pressure or not. But the leak down tester could also diagnose where you could be losing pressure at. Uh, so they will fall in hand in hand. So I would also recommend something I need to do myself is get a leak down tester kit uh, or there's ways to make them. I've never made one, but there's videos out there on how to make them also. Um, but definitely something to help you to determine if you're building up enough pressure or compression or building up pressure to allow your engine to run effectively is definitely a must to add to your toolbox. The next tool I'm gonna to talk about is definitely very important for valves, spark plug, uh, wire or spark plug that's going into your engine or even just managing the specs as you're building, rebuilding the motor or anything like that. But especially in the areas of the valves, different things like that, is different sizes, different type filler gauges. Just keep getting you a different array, a variety of sizes, shapes. Just keep building them up is you never know what kind of situation you're going to run into where you need to get a special type of filler gauge in. So having a variety will definitely help. But adding filler gauges to your toolbox is definitely a must. The other tool I want to talk about, which is this is a very old dinosaur model. I believe they still sell these. Now they sell kits that has very array of different sizes shapes i'm going to start working on building up a better variety of this tool but this is for piston rings when you're rebuilding or taking out your piston to put new oil and compression rings on your piston these helps you uh definitely with putting the piston back in 
So having some kind of piston ring compression tool will definitely be a must, especially when rebuilding engines, putting your pistons back in the way they should. Having this is a must for your toolbox. The last tool, but definitely not exhaustive on the list of tools that you can add to your toolbox to help you do what you want to do effectively. But this is what I feel will complete this video or, you know, a good start of where to get started for adding tools to your toolbox for small engine repair or any kind of thing it is just a good basic multimeter. You can get them as elaborate as you want, whatever you want to spend. The only thing I would do is not get the freebie thing at Harbor Freight. Now, Harbor Freight stepping up their game and getting these that are better quality. So if you want to get one of the better quality ones there, if it works for you, helps you accomplish what you want to accomplish, then, you know, add it to your toolbox. But there's all kinds of things that this here will help you troubleshoot, especially on lawnmowers with kill switches and Lot, like the switches for your lawnmower deck, reverse, your seats, your anything that could kill the ignition that goes to your spark. You could check continuity in different areas to see where you may be having something killing the motor, not letting you get ignition. So this is definitely a must have. There's plenty of plenty of videos out there. I'm just scratching the surface on how to use this, so I'm not going to really put instructional videos out until I get myself more familiar and able to give accurate information on this. But I'm finding myself using this more and more and learning more and more. This is a very effective tool, especially in troubleshooting. So this is definitely a must to have in your toolbox. So this list of tools definitely is not exhaustive and depending on what you're wanting to do as far as working in your shop, maybe you're just wanting to work on chainsaws and two cycle stuff. The tools I showed you probably won't work in that area, but if you're just wanting to work on any and everything, especially push mowers or riding mowers, definitely look into getting these tools, add them to your toolbox. I think it would definitely get you started in the right direction. And again, the list definitely ain't exhaustive. There's definitely a lot, a lot, a lot of tools, especially like torque wrenches and especially tools for adjusting your valves and uh, squeezing in the valve springs. There's a lot of pullers you could get, different things that could be added to this list, depending on case by case basis, depending on what you're working on the brand, the situation, just kind of buy as you need it, when you need it, buy the best that you could afford at that time that gets you the job done. But again, I hope this video helps. And until next time, as always, stay awesome, stay safe, find your start and reach your goals. And I'll see you in the next video.